Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use two different hosts to get different things done. We'll go ahead and launch uh, the jailbreak from one host, and then we'll jump over to another host and launch a payload from over there. Um, I know people have been asking why I like Dark Fives the most because there's no other there's no other payloads on it. Well, I can launch the. I have the most success rate of doing the jailbreak on his host. Then I can go ahead and switch over to a different host and launch a payload that I want to launch. So let's just jump right into it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to settings here. I will show you that I do not have debug settings. Jump up to our network. Go ahead and check connect to the internet. And we'll go ahead and launch our browser. We'll close out uh, of everything and we'll delete everything. Just do the usual, uh, clear everything, and then we'll delete our cookies, and clear our website down. Okay, so we'll go to our bookmarks, and like I said, I'm going to use Derek 5's his automatic host. Uh, I have great success rate with it, so I enjoy using it, and it's quick. Uh, I don't think it's going to install the cache. Just go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. I previously went on it, so I don't think... Uh, there we go. So it's going to install the cache there now. Okay, so the cache is installed. We can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button and jump over and disconnect from the Internet. Go ahead and open up our browser. And we'll give it a few minutes. We should get in there pretty quick. So there's our first memory error. There's our second. There's our third. Okay, looks like we're going in. We'll just give it a few moments here. And it is an auto jailbreak, so it should do everything for us. Uh, we just got to sit back and just wait for it to finish. So everything's going good there now. Okay, it shouldn't take too long now. Okay, it looks like it's uh, getting ready to launch. Gold 10 1.1. So launching the payload. And there we go. Gold 10 version 1.1 loaded. So let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We'll jump over to our settings. And I will show you that we do have our debug settings here and now. So we're going to jump up. We're going to enable the internet because we need to download the cache again for a different host. So we'll go ahead and hit connect to the internet. Launch our website. We'll just go ahead and close everything here. We don't need uh, we don't need all this anymore. We'll go to our browser history and delete it. And we'll go into settings. And we'll delete cookies and clear website data. Okay. So we're going to go on to a second host. Uh, it doesn't really matter. There's a few things we can do. Uh, we can actually try multiple hosts, so we'll go ahead and we'll go into PRB's host, his uh, version 4 here. We'll go ahead and launch it. We'll give it a few moments to install the cache. We don't need to worry about disconnecting from the internet anymore. The jailbreak, or the jailbreak is already done, so it, it shouldn't be any issue. Give it a few more seconds. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, cache is installed. We can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. And we'll just go ahead and relaunch it. Leave the internet connected. Okay, uh, it's deciding to install the cache again. Not sure what happened there, but uh, 
Yeah, we'll just give it a few minutes. It shouldn't take too long. Sometimes the browser, the PlayStation browser, doesn't doesn't do what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so the cache is installed there. It says we can close it out and disconnect from the internet or whatever, but we're gonna leave it connected to the internet. We'll just go ahead and launch the browser again. Okay, and it doesn't really matter. You can, if you have V3 selected, it doesn't matter. Uh, as for the run the exploit, just leave it off. Um, we don't need to run the exploit because we're already done. So we'll go ahead and hit start. I can see my controller drifting there. Okay, hopefully we can get in there with uh, no issues. Okay, so there's one memory here. There's two. There's three. Four. There's five. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, it shouldn't take too long, I should say. It There's six. It's usually pretty good. seven okay I think we're going in now okay yeah there's our first set of messages there's our second set of messages That's basically it. Uh, now we're in here. We don't need to, to worry about anything up here anymore. Uh, let's just say we want to launch Orbis's toolbox. We already got the jailbreak done, so we can just go ahead and click on that. We'll say load in. Let's give it a few moments here. There we go, waiting for payload. Launch and payload. And there we go. Orbis's Toolbox 1.0. So we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. As you can see, it is loaded. So let's just say we want to launch one more. Uh, I For GTA, I do have... Um, let's go to information here. You can see that I do have 1.33. So that's the only mod menu I can use is Beef Beefy. So let's go ahead and get that loaded as well. So we'll go into our browser and we'll just do the usual close everything, delete everything. We can stay connected to the internet the whole time. We don't need to go ahead and uh, disconnect from that. So we'll go ahead and clear everything here. And we'll go up here. Now uh, you probably don't even have to do all this. The website, they clear everything. It's not a big issue because the jail, the jailbreak's already done and that there's the, the main reason why we do it. So. You don't have to clear that at all. You can leave it uh, the way it is. And I believe it's I believe it's this one. So we'll go ahead and launch it. Okay. And we'll just jump right over to here. We'll go ahead and launch our, our mod menu. Give it a few seconds and see if, uh, okay, there we go. There's our first memory here. Okay, it looks like we are going in now. We'll give it a few seconds here. That's our first set of messages. There's our second. Mm. 
Okay, waiting for clients. Launch and payload. And there we go. So we can go ahead and launch GTA now. We'll hit our PlayStation button and we'll go over to GTA and we'll go ahead and launch it. It will take a little bit to load here, uh, but I will, uh, I'll get in there and I'll show you that everything is actually working it and it's functional. So, 1.33 is detected, setting up the environment. Okay, we'll just give it a little bit here to load. It shouldn't take too long, uh, but it is GTA, and GTA usually does take a little bit. Sixty percent there. It's usually once it gets to ninety, that's usually where it just hangs for hangs for a little bit. Just give it a few seconds and we should be in there. Should get right in. Okay, there we go. Beef beefy menu 1.33 activated. By uh, I didn't see that. I was looking at my phone at the same time. Uh, loaded in. So if I recall, it's right on the D-pad and square. There we go. Um, I'm not going to load any vehicles. Uh, you basically load right into the vehicle and then YouTube grabs that song and then uh, they usually uh, they usually mute the audio. So um, yeah, we'll jump in for Let's do the deluxe. Okay, I don't have any audio on, so we're good to go. But you can see that uh, we just launched uh, three different mod menus. What exactly three different. Is wrong with you? I'm not a very good driver. And I forget. Uh, but you can see that we did launch the three payloads from three different hosts. So if you did like the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.